The internet from an overall standpoint is such a wacky place. The ability to communicate seamlessly with people all around the world opens up a new realm of possibilities, ingenuity, and talent that would have never seemed possible for the human race back when one third of the population of Europe died from things like not washing your hands. But for some reason, we use this ability to share ideas instantly as a playground for shitposting about raiding government bases, deep frying images of people who have the firepower to wipe out the population, and spreading stupid riddles that are badly worded and become redundant redundant after being reposted for the 20th time two weeks later. Now the first two I can get behind because some of that shit makes good memes and satire, but I have never found an internet problem that came even close to piquing my interest. Flashback to a couple days ago, late July, people were talking about Stranger Things, the number neighbor thing was just starting to emerge, and you couldn't go anywhere without someone saying, Creeper, aw man, and you still can't go anywhere without hearing it. And then out of nowhere, for no goddamn reason, this math problem shows up in social media feeds, and the internet has a total mental breakdown. Now, this isn't the first time that the internet has been crippled by some stupid phenomenon that drives people to considerable arguments for absolutely no reason. But this isn't even the first time some parentheses related math problem has gone viral. In fact, I saw this exact problem two years ago on Reddit and Instagram and thought, well, there's no way this would ever go viral again. But then again, Revenge by Captain Sparkles from eight years ago is taking off again, so I guess this stupid mindfuck was along for the ride. The reason a math problem like this can go viral is because it's based off of elementary level math skills that everyone remembers, but with some twist that is there for no reason. You spot the operations in the problem and say, oh, that's just PEMDAS, and it seems simple enough, but that's when shit hits the fan. The first incorrect step is to solve the operation in parentheses due to the P at the start of PEMDAS, which by the way stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, and addition and subtraction. You can remember this with a simple phrase like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or please end my depression and suffering, just as long as you remember that the P goes first. As we all know from the master intuition and reason of our elementary school brains, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, which is coincidentally the same for 2 times 2, which is coincidentally the same for 2 to the second power, or 2 squared, because 2 is just the biggest troll out of any number. It just said, you know what, 4 is composite, 6 is composite, every other even number is composite, so nah, fuck it, I'm gonna be prime and mess with people whenever they try to put two of me together. After giving up your dreams on the number two, you're left with this equation. You have an eight, a two, a four in parentheses, and a division sign lost in the middle, and it is here that the Twitter arguments begin. People start splitting sides over which operation to do first, and defend their argument violently over a math problem that has no real purpose. Two real answers emerge, but the majority of people seem to keep avoiding the real solution, and obviously that real solution is that this is a stupid problem. No one should ever use this symbol. It's like a plus sign with a top and bottom cut off, or a minus sign with two dots added, or a percent sign that is flipped 45 degrees, and really when you think about it, the symbol is just a fraction with two dots indicating that the two numbers around it are the numerator and denominator. Why not just use a horizontal line or fraction and call it a day? This horrible division symbol thus spawned two possible answers. One of them assigns the parentheses as a multiplication symbol, which is mathematically justifiable, and the solution comes out as 16. The other solution assigns the parentheses as a value attached to the two, as if it were a variable, as if it was 2x instead of 2 parentheses 4, which is also mathematically justifiable, and this solution outputs 1. Both solutions are mathematically justifiable and technically correct, but they're two different answers. This entire mishap could have been solved with just adding the correct division symbol in one of two ways and getting an undeniable solution, but that problem is easy and doesn't get the same number of likes and retweets. Instead, the problem was created with an irrelevant symbol in mathematics designed to make two equally plausible answers and the internet ate it up, thus spawning the curse of the viral math problem. Alright, you know what, this problem's over. Goodbye, I am moving on. All right, let's see what we got next. Ooh, okay, all right. Now this, this I can get behind. 